Traditional computer animation techniques mostly rely on keyframing, a process by which a designer specifies keyframe constraints together with an interpolation technique. Keyframing offers a low-level yet precise control on trajectories, but requires a large number of manual and tedious manipulations, especially when animating cameras that require very precise framings. One recent work demonstrates the design of camera trajectories in an example-driven fashion. More precisely, the work is able to extract and learn camera behaviors with respect to reference movies, and retarget them on virtual cameras for 3D animations. This provides a high-level control over the generated trajectories through the specification of behaviors. Yet, it does not allow the user to constrain or fine-tune the trajectories to meet specific requirements or compensate for unexpected results. In this paper, we propose a camera motion in-betweening solution in which we bring back low-level precise keyframe control while offering a high-level control on camera behaviors, thus achieving an effective balance between computer automation and user control. The underlying scientific challenges consist in first being able to capture camera behaviors from real and synthetic film clips, and second, retargeting these behaviors on new 3D animations while satisfying user-defined keyframes, hence ensuring both interactive control and automated in-betweening. Our method includes two parts. First, a gating LSTM extractor which learns a low-dimensional camera behavior representation as a style code from given example clips. Second, a camera motion in-betweening generator that incorporates the learned style code together with user-defined keyframe constraints and 3D content to achieve a camera trajectory aware of both specified behavior and keyframes. The camera's speed and direction can also be controlled by the user on each keyframe as one would manipulate keyframe tangents in traditional animation systems. This is achieved by designing a specific mapping network, which relates velocity and direction to the LSTM hidden initial state. Such a feature both helps to eliminate the ambiguity during the training and offers additional control on the trajectory for the designers. We first show our results in a simple ice skating racing scenario. The generator can produce trajectories with the same in-betweening behaviors while conforming to different keyframe constraints. This second example shows results with the same keyframes but different in-betweening behaviors. All trajectories start from the same initial keyframe and move in diverse directions, following different styles, and converge at the keyframes in the middle of the timeline. This third example demonstrates how different initial velocities and directions specified on the starting keyframe influence the overall camera motion. The in-between behavior is the same, as well as the keyframe positions and orientations. As displayed, the generator adapts well to these additional constraints, which provides the designer with an additional level of control. Similar results are carried out in a smaller scale dialogue scene. Again, the generator produces trajectories with the same in-betweening behavior but different keyframe constraints. This again demonstrates the capacity of our system to maintain the behavior while accounting for user-defined specific requirements. Conversely, we display results with the same keyframes but different in-betweening behaviors. This displays first the clear capacity to encode and reproduce different behaviors, and the ability to seamlessly balance between the learned behaviors and the user-defined keyframe constraints. We show our user interface and working process in a zombie fighting scene. We implemented a user interface in which our system supports setting keyframes, selecting camera trajectories, and editing further.
This sequence displays a result designed by an animation artist using only 10 keyframes for a 24 second sequence of a zombie fighting scene. We show the keyframes and camera trajectory simultaneously with the rendered animation. We display an additional result for a scene with a different context. In this hockey game scenario, our method is able to generate dynamic and qualitative camera motions using only 10 keyframes. Here we show that our method works with either sparse or dense keyframes. With the same reference camera behavior, we are able to modify precisely the generated trajectories by inserting more and more keyframes. Obviously, extreme keyframes can enter in clear conflict with the specified behavior. We here show results which occur in such cases. As the user specified keyframes strongly contrast with the specified behavior, the generated sequences as a result depart from the specified behavior. We illustrate this by re extracting the style code from the generated behaviors. Here we show a comparison with the camera on rails technique that enforces keyframe constraints yet offers no control on the in betweening.